So here's a yacht leaving a harbor. Notice that there is no starting vector here because they're giving a position vector of 0, 0. So we're giving the harbor a coordinate. The harbor is the starting point. We'll call that the origin 0, 0. When the yacht is at the harbor, there is another ship, a cargo ship, at the point 63 at that moment, and it's traveling at 37. Notice that we're using the variable t in both of these equations, not a t and an s, because time is the same variable. And whether these collide or not doo -doo -doo, has to be based on that same value of t. <laughs> <laughs> they're going they're both going very slow. So here we go. What is the speed of our yacht? <coughs> okay, first of all, which equation is the yacht? The equation, the velocity vector of the yacht is the 58. So its speed twenty-five plus sixty-four. Less than ten kilometers per hour. <laughs> so we want to find the distance the cargo ship is from the harbor when the pleasure boat starts its journey. So at t equals zero, oh, did I, yeah, it is different names for the same thing. Pleasure boat now instead of yacht. I brought out my thesaurus for this question. <laughs> yeah. Pleasure craft. Position of the pleasure boot. No, nope, just cargo ship. Focus. What was it? Six seven? Six three. If we want to figure out how far that is as a distance, we can just do A squared plus B squared. Thirty six plus nine. It is pretty far away, six kilometers. Six point something. Should be 45. Man, we are <laughs> just, a, just a bad day. Definitely makes 45. And then part C, if both the yacht and the cargo ship continue on the same courses, will they collide? If so, at what time? If not, why not? Do, do, do. All right. So let's set up our parametric equations. For our pleasure boat, we've got x is equal to 5t and y is equal to 8t. And for our cargo ship, we have x is equal to 6 plus 3t. And y is equal to 3 plus 17. We only have one variable when we set these equal to each other, right? We got 5t equals 6 plus 3t. And here we're going to get 8t 
is equal to 3 plus 7t. If we look at the first one and we solve for t, we get t is equal to 3. If we look at the second one, no, in three hours they will collide. <laughs> That's right. Somebody wasn't paying attention on the pleasure boat. <laughs> they will collide at three hours. I said there would be a lot of destruction in this class. It's probably all that foreboding that meant, made my mental math go off. <laughs> foreboding. <laughs>